some of you are not going to like me. Y'all can do a box of beats on our page, you can pay for yourself. I can't stand to do that. Some of you not gonna like me. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! This is Tony Thompson, chilling with boxing beats and rhymes. Tony Yoka was given a one year suspended sentence by the French Boxing Federation because he missed a series of doping tests. The suspension will not be enforced unless he violates protocol again. He missed four tests in a year. That's a lot of tests. So that makes him suspicious. On my report card, you know, it just makes him suspicious. Simple as that. But 23rd of June, he takes on Dave Allen in Palace. Yoka, Olympic gold medalist, is a big celebrity in France currently. For whatever that means to you as a boxing fan. <laughs> Extremely popular. I don't know how they rendered the decision where he doesn't do any time at all. That I'm not getting though. But anyway. Let's not get bogged down in that. He takes on Dave Allen. In Paddy's on the 23rd of June. And it's not a bad step up. Allen is currently 13 wins. 3 losses. 2 draws. Not a bad step up. Allen managed to take Luis Ortiz into the 7th and took Dillian White the 10 round distance. So it's going to be interesting to see how Yoka does in comparison to them two. He hasn't looked that explosive to me. He moves very well though. He does move very well. He can move and punch. Heavyweights who can move and punch, keep your eye on them. That's all I'll say. Keep your eye on them. Olympic gold medalist won a controversial decision against... The UK's Joe Joyce, who is doing pretty well as a pro. He got rid of um, Lenroy Thomas in, in a couple of rounds, I believe. And we saw what Lenroy was doing with Dave Allen, outboxing him comfortably, in my opinion. Comfortably. Joyce used his physicality to overwhelm Lenroy. I don't think Yoko has the mindset to turn it into a dogfight. Or the propensity at this stage of his career to do that. I don't believe so. So it could go off you. It could go off you. Lenroy was tricky. So Joe did the right thing. Dave can spoil a little. So if Yoko was to kind of turn it into a physical fight. Because he has such a considerable size advantage. That would be a good idea. But I believe he's going to jab his way in. And try and do it clean from long range. So it could possibly take a few. Not a bad step up for... Yoka. I don't see Dave Allen winning the fight, but whether he can take him the distance or not is very interesting. Allen looks to have a solid jaw. But Yoka, six foot seven, eight to two inch reach. David Allen has got stumps for arms in comparison. It's hard to see, you know, how he makes any impact in that fight. I know Eddie kind of talks it up that he's got ambitions for Dave to do this and blah blah blah. But Dave is Dave, yeah? Dave is Dave. Kind of um, a novelty act in the matchroom roster. No disrespect, but, you know, that that's how I read it. Yoka not explosive, like I said. So it could go a few. Alan tries to roll punches. He's not successful at it, but he does have a kind of awkward thing going on there. And it seemed to frustrate Dylan a little. And Yoka must avoid that as much as possible. Alan at times does that oh you can't hurt me sort of thing then it kind of becomes like a moral victory against the likes of Dillian or Ortiz and um, if Yoka tries to impress the hometown crowd too much it could be you know could be an awkward evening could be an awkward evening if Alan stands up he's going to get picked off you know he's got to go for it he's got to just um, try and bundle in there and let his hands go he's got to let his hands go Against Lenroy Thomas, obviously he didn't do that. And we got an upset points loss for the Commonwealth title. In March, he suffered quite a bad cut over the right eye against Lenroy Thomas. So, I'm shocked that's healed sufficiently to take on an opponent of Yoka's class. 
if Yoka's done his homework, he would have seen that Dave didn't always like it when Ortiz went to the body. Scheduled for 10 rounds. If Yoka can get rid of get rid of Allen inside the distance, that's a good performance. Dylan White is currently sitting in world class right now, and he couldn't get rid of him. So if he can get anything inside the distance, it's a good performance, considering this is only his fifth pro fight. Now, if Yoka boxes to a 10-round points decision and is comfortable doing it, maybe he'll be comfortable with that too. But I'm expecting a little more than that. I'm expecting a little more. Should be able to break down Dave with the jab and mix it up enough with both hands to get him out of there. But nevertheless, a unanimous points decision is good as well. That's good too. That's good too. Anything less than a unanimous points decision will be considered an upset. There's no doubt about that. But I'm going to go for an eighth round stoppage. That's what I'm going to go for. That's what I'm going to predict. Peace.